Hey family, God bless you. So the Lord has been giving me a lot of word on war and chaos and warriors and talking to me about the different, the two separate sides of warriors that are being set up right now that are being prepared right now. And that's including the 144,000, the, the God's warriors, God's army, and the other side of that, the other spectrum, which would be Satan's warriors. So right now we are both, we have both been being prepared and going through training. And I spoke on this before um, in one of the last recent videos. Um, but the Lord's been, been um, showing me a few things about that and uh, leading me towards uh, Revelation 9. So, which we know is basically, for lack of words, when all hell breaks loose on earth and lots of demons are loose and all types of crazy stuff is going on here. Um, very great tribulation tribulational things so the other a, a few weeks ago i had this flash dream where i saw this group of 12 brown horses and at first i i thought about i was only thinking about the good side of that um but i believe the lord was giving me two messages um basically like i said speaking about the good warriors and the bad warriors so horses represent war um which you could then further that into saying that they also represent warriors or the warriors of the 12 tribes so zechariah 10 5 to 8 says and they shall be as mighty men which tread down their enemies in the mire of the streets in the battle and they shall fight because the lord is with them and the riders on horses shall be confounded and i will strengthen the house of judah and i will save the house of joseph and i will bring them again to place them for I have mercy upon them, and they shall be as though I had not cast them off. For I am the Lord their God, and I will hear them. And they of Ephraim shall be like a mighty man, and their heart shall rejoice as through wine. Yea, the children shall see it and be glad. Their heart shall rejoice in the Lord. I will hiss for them and gather them. For I have redeemed them, and they shall increase as they have increased. So, um, then the Lord gave me, he, he kept me going further into this. And he reminded me also about um, the mighty men of David, the, the men that were sent to David. And, um... <clears throat> excuse me he also gave me another number that went along with this um i don't remember actually it was, I, it was the time 5 33 i was looking at the clock and i saw it was 5 33 and immediately that that stood out to me the spirit spoke that spoke that to, st to stand out to me so i looked into what 5 33 means so 5 33 means bravest mighty strength strong or strong one so that confirmed the aspect that he was speaking about the mighty men and the warriors warriors the groups of warriors a group of warriors or the two groups of warriors that are being risen up right now and or being prepared being set for on the battleground right now so then the other night i have um a few dreams 
that the Lord gave me um, even more deeper talking about this war and chaos that's coming ahead of us that we're on the cusp of. So I'm going to share that with you real quick. So the first dream I want to share, um, it started off, I was with these other kids outside and we were sitting inside a little round plastic pool, um, which you would know as, uh, which would be known as a, a waiting pool. And it was um, being used as a sandbox, but I believe it was empty. So I was getting armored up um, with these, this new artillery as I was standing in this little, this little empty pool with, with a couple other kids in there with me. So I put on this, this like weapon utility belt, like, like how Batman's utility belt is, but it went around my shoulder and around my chest and um it was like it was yellow and it had a bunch of little pockets and compartments on it all the way around it and i knew that um they were for me to put like other guns like small guns or small weapons inside the little compartments so i also had these new guns and i had this uh long range gun that was like a sniper rifle with this like little scope on it and because i remember i was putting it together and i was looking through the scope but the funny thing was that they were all like nerf guns so then i knew that we had to go inside um and there was this building um in front of us but there were a bunch of other people around like walking around doing stuff at this point i wasn't really focusing on anybody in particular and there was this deep canyon in between where we were and where this building was which I knew it was a uh, it was the school so I knew that I had to jump across to to get over to the other side and um, I had solved that there were people climbing and trying to get over to the other side trying to get into this school um, but a lot of them were failing they were like falling down into this deep uh, crevice of this valley, of this um this canyon. But I knew that I had already done this before, um, and like I I could easily get across back and forth at this point. So the scene then changed, and I was inside, and I was talking to my wife, Janice, and I was telling her about everything that I had just saw, but I knew that everything I had just saw was actually a dream, so it was a dream in the dream. And I was telling her that all those weapons that I was, that I knew I had, and the arm, or you know, the uh, weapons and stuff I was armoring myself up with, um, I, I said that I, I had just been given these new weapons. I, I knew that it meant that God was giving me new weapons and that, um, and I was telling her about me having to stand in this sandbox. So there were um, others there that I had been talking to as well that I knew were like my coworkers. So I had left with uh, one of them and uh, I, we went to go talk to some other people um, in this place. Like there were all types of different rooms in this school, this building. And um, we wanted to see what each person was doing. I knew that each person was in a different room doing a different thing. Um, but then at some point, things started getting crazy. And um, the people that were in this place started turning against each other. And they started fighting each other. Even the people that I knew as my coworkers were fighting each other. And they were like using their 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 abilities and stuff, like running up walls and doing flips and like like a kung fu movie or something. Like it was this big action scene. So it was like just mass chaos everywhere. People were just running and screaming, trying to get out of this place. So I knew that um, I had to lead this group out, this group of people. So I was trying to lead this group of people out, but we had got to this stairwell that I knew we had to go down this stairwell. And um, as I went to go down, 
there were these people that started running up the stairwell and they were they were like zombies like um like they didn't look like their typical zombie like green and skin falling off and stuff like that they just looked like regular people but i knew they were like zombies like they weren't responding like a normal human being and um i knew not to let them touch me and i've seen this plenty of times before so i already knew that they were like that they were demons but i wasn't sure if they were actual demons in disguise or they were people that were possessed by demons but either way they were demons so I then started using um, these power, like energy beams, shooting them out of my hands, and um, I was trying to move these these demon people back uh, to go back down the uh, the stairwell. So I like I went down into the stairwell, and one of the women went to go try to like jump on me like she ran up towards me to, to come and jump on me but just before she got over me I like aim the beam the laser at her but the weird thing was I couldn't see the beams but I knew I was shooting them and it was funny because I was like making the noise the sound effect with my mouth like I was like bee so but I knew she was getting hit with this beam and it like it was like a force almost like the spirit was moving through me as i put my hand up forcing this girl to go back and um like i could see like this fear or or like the, like she knew that god's authority was was a, was on me and like she as i put my hand up like telling her to stop or to go back she just instantly started going back like she was getting hit so then I, I aimed the uh, beam at like the ceiling and the walls trying to melt the walls or trying to I was trying to make this invisible barrier um, to keep them from coming. Uh, but one of them had got through and um, I like jumped back and there was a person behind me that then closed this this gate. There was this uh, barred gate like a like a prison cell gate. And we closed that and they were like trying to grab us, grab at people through this gate. But I was I was like commanding them to, to get back in the name of Jesus. And, and I was commanding them. I was like, in the name of Jesus, I command you to get back right now. I command you to stay right there, right now. And like I was telling them that they had to stay in this place. So, and they were like backing up and stuff. And then we uh, locked it. And they were like trying to get out, but they couldn't get out. So, and then like a bunch of other stuff happened. And I was like doing flips and ninja flips and ninja moves all over, you know, all over the place, trying to get get out of this place and and fighting these these demons and stuff. So, then I had woke up. So, um, obviously, without even having to go into deep in interpretation here, you can see this is about war and chaos and, and you know fighting and definitely representing things that are going to be how it's going to be like on this planet during the great tribulation and again it's it, it's also pointing out things that i've talked about things that i've been shown as the lord showing that i or the 144,000 people of the 144,000 or cho some chosen people are going to be here leading, helping to lead people out of this chaos and things that I've seen helping lead these people into safe houses and into uh, Goshen's, which are like places where um, food and, and water and things like that are going to be prepared, places for them to, to go for safety. So... I don't know if this is going to be in the spirit or, you know, I'm already going, to, already going to be changed, you know, transformed into this, this spiritual body to be able to do these, these um, things using, using these abilities. I believe so, considering all the things that I've been shown. But one of the things um, I want to explain in this dream in the beginning where I saw myself sitting in this plastic pool, this little waiting pool. And um, I knew that it was like a sandbox. So I looked some things up. So waiting, 
as, as is, it was a wading pool, a little plastic pool. Wading means to walk in or through water or something else that similarly impedes normal movement or to cross or pass through water, for example, with difficulty. So it's talking about things that I've brought up that the Lord has spoken through me already, as in um, crossing the river and going through, as it is talking about walking through water, that is, you know, crossing this river, crossing this, this uh, body of water, um, of difficulty and water can also sometimes represent uh, you know trials and and difficulties that come upon you that you have to go through as you know they try to drown you you know things that the enemy tries to put up against you to slow you down so it's going to be a time of difficulty but it's also um, the Lord's going to have you you know safely having us walk through this so then the fact that I knew it was a sandbox and um, I went, the, I was trying to think of what could that possibly mean? And the spirit spoke something to me. He said um, something about it being military. So I looked up military, the military sandbox or military meaning a sandbox. So it's funny, something something came up. So if you know, if you been in the military um thank you for your service first of all but um a slang this uh, the slang word for sandbox in the military mean it is it, it stands for iraq being set up in iraq so but it can also stand for the desert and if we say speak of it in that manner, you can also see it as meaning the desolate wilderness, being in the wilderness, crossing through the wilderness. As we know, this is something that I've been talking about, something that I've been sharing, that the Lord's been revealing to us being in the wilderness and going to, coming to the point of crossing over the river. So again, those two points connect. Um, but he's also showing that he's preparing me or preparing us, us warriors, in this time period, as we've we've known, we've seen. If you've you've seen your the dreams of being in training, or the dreams, you know, all these trials and tribulations we're going through. This is this is preparing us, and um, equipping us with with the weapons that we're going to need when that time comes. So that's what the Lord's talking about here, and um. One another thing I want to point out is the fact that I saw this canyon, which uh, the word talks about that there is a chasm, a great chasm between us and and um in heaven or or us and you know hell and in heaven. So people can't go you know across to those places just just being able. To, to walk over across and you know whenever they want to and things like that or people in the spirit in the spirit world can't just cross over because of this great chasm I also believe that points to you know that the separation of of being able to go from the the real world this the physical world to the spiritual world or um having to have the the bridge to get from here to the kingdom of God, which is Jesus. So, and that's why I was I knew I was able to cross easily back and forth over this this canyon, because I am connected to the bridge. I'm connected to the link, which is Jesus Christ. So I'm able to go. I was able to go cross back and forth without having trouble. But there's people trying to climb up and trying to get over in their own way which we know that's you there's only one way jesus is the only way so if you try to get into the kingdom without jesus you're going to fall in the chasm you're going to fall in the valley you're going to fall down into that that pit that darkness you're not going to make it so that's very clear what he's speaking there and 
then the rest of it is is pretty self-explanatory as you know we see me fighting all these demons um but one of the things that really stood out to me about that um part where these people these demons possessed people are coming up out of this uh this stairwell um was brought me to revelation 9 1 to 7 which says and the fifth angel sounded, and I saw a star fall from heaven unto the earth, and to him was given the key of the bottomless pit. And he opened the bottomless pit, and there arose a smoke out of the pit, as the smoke of a great furnace. And the sun and the air were darkened by reason of the smoke of the pit. And there came out of the smoke locusts upon the earth, and unto them was given power as the scorpions of the earth have power and it was commanded them that they should not hurt the grass of the earth neither any green thing neither any tree but only those men which have not the seal of God in their foreheads and to them it was given that they should not kill them but that they should be tormented five months and their torment was as the torment of a scorpion when he striketh a man and in those days shall men seek death and shall not find it, and shall desire to die, and death shall flee from them. And the shapes of the locusts were like unto horses, prepare unto battle. And on their heads were as it were crowns like gold, and their faces were as the faces of men. So I saw that these people looked like human people, or like men, and they were... It was a group of them trying to attack that came up out of this stairwell from the bottom of the stairwell the stairwell and this door was open unlocked un, un, to unleashing them onto these people that were trying to get out of this place so that's I was I saw the comparison there and I believe that this is what this was speaking about that I was seeing also that connects to the horses that I saw, that I said I saw the 12 horses, as I said, it, it, it's a double meaning there, talking about the 12 warriors, the 12 tribes, 12 tribe warriors, the 144,000, the army of God, but also talking about these 12 horses that, as it says, the locusts were like unto horses prepared unto battle. So we see the enemy has his horses being prepared as well so um there's just one more dream i want to share real quick uh i'm gonna just speed through this real quick so i had this dream where um i had this assignment to recreate this this front cover of like this comic book that i had that i had been given and i think i had it for a long time or something like that because like the, the pages were kind of torn but there was like at first I couldn't find the front page and finally I found the front page like I, I was being shown this thing and I was staring at it and I believe it was Iron Man I'm not really sure if it was Iron Man but I believe it was Iron Man and he was standing on this road that went back behind him like disappeared into the um, horizon back behind him and on his right side a little bit behind him was a missile or a rocket and that was standing straight up and that immediately reminded me just made me think of of war and all the things that we see going on especially with the US and um, North Korea with all these missiles that North Korea keeps testing talking about you know blowing us up and you know all this nuclear warfare rumors and rumors of war and things like that so we see God is clearly talking about um, the time of the Great Tribulation um, that is coming up very soon in the chaos that is going to come upon us but we have to just be very clear to know that God is going to cover us he is going to have mercy upon us just like I read in Zechariah 10, 5 to 8, um, where he says that 
and I will strengthen the house of Judah and I will save the house of Joseph and I will bring them again to place them for I have mercy upon them and they shall be as though I had not cast them off for I am the Lord their God and I will hear them. So he will hear your call. He will hear your your prayer. He, he will save. There will still be people being saved during that time period. There will still be Christians, you know, or people that will see the light and, and, and turn to God in that time period. And a lot of us will be here to help guide them to the places that God is is leading them to go, you know, to, to endure these things. So those are things I just wanted to share with you guys. And um, definitely just stay in prayer. Pray for your brothers and sisters. Pray for our nation. And um, just continue to encourage each other and lift each other up. And um, I love you guys. God bless you. Jesus is the only way. If you don't have Jesus now, if you don't know him as your Lord and Savior, please repent of your sins. Ask for forgiveness. Ask him to come into your life right now. For he is still in a, we are still in a time of, of mercy and grace. And he will, he will hear your call and you will be saved. I love you guys. God bless. And I'll talk with you soon.